We have an absolute monster joining us today, the Doogee S100 Pro. This thing is a beast. It features camping lights, a 22,000 milliamp battery, and everything else under the sun from a 108 megapixel camera with Sony night vision, all the way to 12 gigs of RAM plus an additional 8 gigs extended RAM and 256 gigs onboard storage. This thing is an absolute monster to say the least. It has so many specs. It's nice just having one of these kicking around in your emergency kit a 22,000 milliamp battery you can charge your own phone off of it four times over and this thing will still have enough power so let's crack this open this is silly smart life for you they spelt you conspicuously incorrect, although that is the way I used to spell it in high school. This is a massive box, by the way. Cardstock is a little bit flimsy without a protective layer or anything. It's just right up against the side of the phone. But this is military grade rugged, so don't worry about that too much. I've never picked this up before. This has to be heavy. It just has to be. <laughs> It's so damn heavy. Oh my god. I didn't know it was that thick. This, oh, this is great. You could kill a boar with this. This is nutty. Okay, just a second. We got to get the scale out here. Let's look at the rest of the box. That genuinely made me laugh. I'm not even joking. So you do have a screen protector, although you don't need one. This thing you could drop from an airplane. You have a warranty card and a screen protector accessories installation kit, which is going to have little wipes in it and stuff like that. You do have some interesting things here. I don't know what SAR value is. Is that a... Oh wow, that is a certification stamps for different sort of measurement thresholds. And you have your user manual, which is a very thick tome. Inside you get an international, yes, sorry to us, this is an international plug type. This one is not the one that we use, and it should have USB-C in the rest of the box here, if I can get down there. And it does. All right. And this one actually is USB-C to USB-C, which is in this one. Yeah, so it's not full size. Let's put all this off to the side and explore this unit. I can't even... I can't even explain how heavy this is. We got to get a scale here. Let's work our way up, shall we? Here is an Amazon Kindle ebook reader, 155, 154 grams. Moving over to my smartphone, which is an Xperia 1 Mark III, which is 218, 219 grams. I can't even tell you how heavy this is. 549 grams. This, you could build a house with these. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, to its credit, it has a 22,000 milliamp battery, right? It would kind of be the same thing if you had a 200 gram smartphone with a 300 gram battery pack installed because this is pre-installed. This whole thing, you can't take that off. It, it's just this gigantic chonky donker right here that, oh my lord. It's quite wieldy, I must say. It feels really good in the hand. This feels like you're holding some sort of comms device. Well, technically it does communicate and it is a device, but you know what I mean. So I believe you have these, oh my god, you got some Torx screws here for access. That is amazing. What does that button do? I have no idea. So we have a trans flash slash SIM card tray on this side. Is this going to be so rugged that I can't open this with my finger? Do I need a flathead screwdriver to open this? I'm not even kidding. I can't open that. So let's turn this on and look at it, what we have here. Now, just letting you know, for this review, we're not going to show you how a phone works. We're not going to show you e-reading. You don't care about any of that. We're going to show the camping lights and this crazy 100 plus megapixel Sony camera. And we're also going to show you the night vision mode because you don't care what that it's a phone you guys don't say hey i can install apps yeah we know that what you do want to see is what makes this an absolute monster when you take this out camping or just something to have around in case you get hit by an earthquake but for the formality of a tech review, it is a smartphone and it is running Android 12, meaning you can go down to the top. You have all of your commands here. You have rotate, flashlight, capture, battery, locations. You have your Bluetooth, you have airplane mode, and you have your settings. Settings is just standard Android where you can do various things like notifications, display, and yes, everybody, 
You can make phone calls. That's something that's lost on consumer electronics that are smartphones or cell phones. Can you make calls? Yes. This also has Google services built in, so that means you get TV, YouTube, Gmail, Maps, and the like. The camera is one of the first things we want to see, but I am so interested in these lights. How do you even do it? You just turn on the light like that, but that's not the camping light because that's just the quick trigger OS based kind of flashlight toggle. What we want to see is how to actually use these massive camping lights, which as I suspected does seem to be a dedicated application. Do not shine into your eyes when the camping light is on. All right, well, I'll just shine it into your guys' eyes. So we have full half quarter SOS and super. What on earth is that going to do? Let's just turn on full. Oh my God. <laughs> this is nuts. That is a huge light. Okay, you can kind of shine this one in your eyes a little bit. It's very much diffused by this matte kind of partially translucent screen here. It kind of breaks down and quarters totally fine. That's just kind of normal enough to have on your person. But full is something you're going to want to put down like that. It'll light up a room. That is insane, everyone. And yes, you can use it with the... I actually, I just pointed that in my eyes a little bit. That is That is light. And it does seem like this prompt, you can't tell it to go away and I think that's a good thing oh my lord there's super that is super avert, avert your eyes everyone wow that's some um epileptic uh uh warnings there and then SOS is the three on the three slow and the three short to indicate that you are in danger and it does look like that warning is on the entire time at the bottom you do have a timer as well for that you can go anywhere from five to 60 minutes in case you know you want to fall asleep with it or something like that and of course this thing is primarily used for camping because they don't only have the dedicated flash package there they have the dedicated light bar that is built into the unit and with one quick camera change you can sneak up on your foes using night vision which utilizes the back two infrared lenses in order to light your way so even when it's completely dark you can find what you are looking for obviously you just turn on the camping lights but this way only you can see what's in the room when the enemy cannot. This is really cool because even in a black room, you can read anything. You can pick up your pieces and grab your weaponry. I'm not a military guy, but a, a military rugged enabled device that has a battery that will last you several days with a night vision camera. I gotta say, that's a lot of giving you a lot of tools to get the job done. Military grade rugged certified, a 22,000 milliamp battery, and 20 gigs of RAM. You would think the biggest standout feature for us would be one of those specs, but it isn't. The biggest standout feature is that it's under $400, making it nearly a fifth of the cost of some flagship smartphones. So much has been lost in the industry when it comes to phones, to planned obsolescence, brand recognition, and the like that it just goes to show you that you don't need to spend $1,600 on a brand name when you can get significantly more power for a fraction of the cost. For Goody Reader Tech, thanks for watching.